Hello everyone, my name is Andres, I work in the technical support team at ComUp and in this video I will show how to configure the Intelligent 1000 controller when used in applications where the genset star sequence is handled by uh, the engine ECU or other external control system. By accessing the set points menu in the engine settings group, this type of controllers let us select if the engine start sequence will be handled by the engine intelligent controller or by the ECU or the engine control system. The option internal, consider control and activation of a starter and fuel solenoid outputs, and we can configure the maximum cranking time, the crank fail pause, and the cranking attempts. The option external is the one that will let the controller know that the engine ECU or other control system will handle the engine start sequence. When selecting this option, the controller will not activate or control the starter output anymore. Once the controller receives a start command or a remote start stop signal, depending on the controller mode, the controller will activate the press start output during the press start time. Um, then it will activate the fuel solenoid output which must be connected to the remote start input in the ECU or in the engine control system that handles the start sequence. We must also configure the ready to load set point where we can select uh, the source for the ready to load signal. It can be internal which means that the controller will check voltage and frequency conditions before connecting the load. It can be external, which means that the controller should receive the ready to load status from an external signal connected to one of the controller binary inputs. We must also set uh, a ready to load timeout, which will be the maximum waiting time for the ready to load input or status. Uh, the minimal stabilization time which uh, adds a delay for closing the generator circuit breaker after voltage and frequency conditions are within the defined limit. Um, and then if voltage and frequency are out, out of the limits, uh, the controller will wait the time configuring the maximal stabilization time uh, before shutting down the genset. Let's check the differences between the two options for the engine start sequence. With the option internal, we can set the maximum cranking attempts, maximum cranking time, and the cranking fail pause. Uh, here we can see how when we press start button with the controller in manual mode, uh, the press start output gets active, then starter gets active during short time while the genset starts, together with the fuel solenoid output, which remains active. If we change the engine start sequence to external, we must set, as I said before, uh, the ready to load timeout. And then if we try to start the engine again, we can see how the controller just activates the fuel solenoid output after the press start time and then start counting down the ready to load timeout we set and the minimal stabilization time once the voltage and frequency are within the limits. I hope the information I shared here is helpful for you and if any questions do not hesitate to contact the technical support team.